All right, good evening everyone and welcome to today's meeting. So what we're going to look at today is Binance Margin Trading, okay? So I'm going to walk you step by step on what Binance Margin Trading is all about, um, why you should use Binance Margin Trading. And at the end of the day, um, there is something Binance recently introduced called Phone D Friday, okay? So if you are trading on Binance Margin, Every Friday, you stand a chance to share in the 20% proceed or profit that Binance makes, okay? Um, so at the end of every Friday, because you're a margin trader, you get a percentage of that profit. This promo is ongoing, okay? They started um, January this year. Um, there is no end date to, to read yet. So I will probably show you how to participate in all of this. Okay, so to get started, what is margin trading? Um, if you have been in the crypto space for a while now, you know that we have spot trading, which is you buying you know, um, crypto with your money. And then when it goes up, you sell. Okay, you buy low, you sell high in profit. Then we have margin trading. Margin trading is simply, um, in a nutshell, what margin trading is all about is you buying or trading crypto with borrowed money. Okay, margin trading, the simple explanation to margin trading is um, you as an investor buying crypto with uh, borrowed money, okay? You don't really need um, to have, you know, all the money in the world to be able to trade crypto. And I will show you what I mean in a moment, okay? There are interests that are attached to borrowing money, okay? Um, I need to actually <laughs> emphasize on this. When you borrow money from Binance, you are actually paying interest whenever you are returning back the money, except when Binance gives you a bonus that you can trade for your first you know, borrowed money with that fee and the rest. There are fees that are attached to all borrowed money. Now, the benefits of trading margin, one of the benefits of trading margin is that um, it has a greater um, you know, potential of it has, it has a greater potential profit than um, when compared to spot trading, okay? So margin trading offers you greater um, profit potential compared to when you are trading spot. Now, a, a typical example is this. If I have $100 and I want to trade spot, when I buy a particular asset on, spot, on the spot market and that asset increases by 1%, it means that I'm making 1% profit of what? Of that $100. But with that $100, if I transfer it to Binance, okay? If I transfer it to Binance, let me share my screen so that, um, my full screen so that you see what I'm actually trying to explain to you. Okay, so here on the Binance um, trading interface, once I come in here to trade, the next thing is, you see that there is a convert option, there is spot, there is margin, and there is fiat and P2P. Our concern here is on the margin, okay? So our concern is on the margin. So once you are here, you just go ahead and click on margin, okay? So here on the margin, we have here, these are um, the margins that I can trade with. Here we have isolated, if I click on it, let me click on it to give you the options there. So once I click on it, we have um, isolated and then we have cross. okay? We have cross and we have isolated. Isolated gives you, um, you can borrow up to 10X, okay? You can get like 10 times the money you have um, to trade a particular asset. Why on the cross it is 3X? So if I go ahead and select cross, you see that we can only borrow three times the money we have. But the difference between the cross and isolated is that with isolated, because I'm borrowing 10X, there are limits to you know, the um, pairs that I can trade with the isolated, but with cross, I can trade multiple pairs, okay? So that is just the difference. I can trade multiple pairs um, with cross, but with isolated, there are limits to what I can trade. So what that, that simply means is that if I come in here and select isolated, isolated gives me the option to borrow money up to 10 times whatever I deposit here. So the first thing you need to do before you start up imagine trading, uh, one of the benefits I mentioned about margin trading is that, you know, you stand a chance to make um, a higher profit, okay? Like I was giving you the example, if you are trading sport with $100, 
if the market increases by 2%, you're only making 2% of that $100. But when you're trading margin uh, with a $100, that $100, if I'm trading with the isolated option here, if I'm trading with isolated option here, it means that with $100, I can borrow up to $1,000 from Binance to start trading. So it means that if instead of making just um, 10 percent of a hundred dollars, we're making 10 percent of a thousand dollars on a thousand and hundred dollars this time around because I am trading with borrowed money. Okay, so at the end of the day, there is a feature here where Binance say auto pay, auto repay, and auto borrow. Okay, so we, when I'm trading now, the difference between isolated and cross is this when I'm trading with isolated option, I can borrow up to 10 times the money. What that means is that first, I will need to select the asset I want to trade, okay? Um, I will need to select the asset that I want to trade. If I go ahead and click on that asset, let's say I want to trade BNB USDT, okay? BNB USDT, that is the token I want to trade. So I'll go ahead and select it. Right now, BNB is at 405 USDT. So I want to trade this now. I'll buy this now with borrowed funds. Then I will sell it when the price increase and then pay back my loan. So to be able to borrow this, because I'm trading with isolated um, trade, it means that whatever funds I, I transfer here now will only be used to trade this BNB USDT. If I go and select another asset still on isolated uh, margin, it means that I need to transfer a different money into that particular asset that I'm selecting. But in the case of cross, I can transfer the money even on BNB USDT and still use that money to trade other assets. Okay, so that is the difference between cross and margin. Okay, so um, sorry, that's the difference between cross and isolated. Okay, so please understand that. Then the next thing I need to do now is on since I've selected BNB USDT, I will first transfer funds into this account. Okay, so I'll first transfer funds into this account, and to do that, all I need to do is to use this option here. Okay, where it says where you see this uh, zero USDT or zero BNB, I'll go ahead and click on this arrow facing each other, okay? So if I click on it, it gives me the option to transfer funds from either my spot wallet or whatever I'm going to transfer it back to this margin wallet. So I'll click on the isolate um, the spot. When I click on spot, I have funds on my features USDT. That's how I want to transfer my USDT to, and I have about 63, um, so I have about 63 USDT here. So on the phone that I have on my futures account, I'm going to transfer like $50, okay? I'll transfer $50 into this account. So now that I've transferred $50 into this account, it means that I can use this $50 to buy BNB and sell it when the price of BNB increases. Now, because I am trading isolated, okay? You can see the balance here on BNB USDT. Each time I select BNB USDT. Now, if I go ahead and select a different coin, like, um, let me select this noise, um, BTC, or let me select the USDT. Uh, let me say ADA, ADA USDT. If I select ADA USDT, I will need to transfer additional funds there. And the reason for this is because I am trading isolated. So I am isolated to just one particular token. Okay, but if I trade cross, if I go ahead and select and change this from margin to cross, and then I want to trade at that USDT, I'll go ahead and transfer some USDT here. So I'll go again and then select my USDT, uh, my features wallet, and transfer everything I have here into that asset. Okay, so now that I've transferred that, I've transferred it to my margin wallet. So I'll come back to trade again. Okay, so here I have some funds here on the cross mode. If I go ahead and select another token, let's say I want to select um, Matic USDT. Okay, so you see the difference that with the cross, I can trade multiple tokens with just one transfer of asset. So now that I selected Mat Matic USDT, I selected Matic USDT, I still have my the funds I transferred here, okay? So if I select another coin, let's say I want to trade, instead of Matic, I want to trade MANA, still on that cross, okay? Um, I select MANA USDT, I still have these funds right here, okay? So with the funds I have here, I can use it to trade multiple coins, 
but it is not the same thing when you are trading isolated, okay? So isolated, isolate you to only that coin. Remember that we transfer that funds when we selected BNB USDT, right? So right now on MANA is not showing until you come back here to select BNB, BNB USDT, okay? So I've typed BNB USDT here. So that is the only place our funds can show up and we can only use it to trade this coin alone, okay? So that is what I want you to understand that with um, isolated, you can trade only one token, but you can get up to 10 times the funds you have transferred. But with pros, you can trade multiple tokens, but you get up to what? Three times the money that you transferred. It. So if I'm trading with this cross now, this isolated now, and I have $50, I can borrow up to 10 times this money, okay? So to be able to borrow now, I will change this that says uh, auto repay to auto borrow, okay? I'll click on it and change it to auto borrow. Here you can see, as I said earlier, 10 times, we are getting 10 times the money we borrowed. So we are $50, it means that we can trade up to, we can buy BNB worth how much? We can buy BNB worth 500 USDT, okay? So we are getting like 10 times the money we deposited into this. Now, if I go back to cross, okay, when I go back to cross, I still have my money here. This time around, I'm borrowing three times the money, okay? Cross gives you like three X. So I am borrowing three times the money that I deposited here, okay? So that is the difference that I want you to understand between cross margin and isolated margin on the margin trading interface, okay? So whatever option that you prefer, you go ahead and select that. So let me go back with the isolated. And what I can do now is to go ahead and buy this token if I want to. When I started this, we started um, this margin trading. When I opened this interface, remember, um, BNB was 405. So it means that if I have bought with the borrowed money, I would have made like $2, $2 okay? Um, I would have bought $500 worth of remaining that I would have made more money as the price continues to go up. Uh, but because the market is dropping right now, I wait and buy at 400 or even at 390. And wait when the price increases, I will sell. Okay. When I sell, I can make profit. So basically, this is how this works. And at the end of the day, when you finish selling, you can change this back to auto repay after you've borrowed. Okay. You can change it back to auto repay to automatically pay back the loans you borrow and keep your uh, the initial funds you deposited and your profit for you. Or you can manually repay the loans that you borrow. Okay. You can manually repay the loans that you borrow. So if I come in here to borrow, you have borrow option here. If I click on it. So once I click on it, I have, I can borrow max. Okay. If I want to borrow BNB, I can borrow up to 1.1 1 .1 BNB. If I want to change it to USDT, I just click. So once I click on it, I'll just click on USDT, okay? And I can borrow max, you see that I can borrow up to 450. So 450 plus my own $50, that is what made it $500 that you are seeing there, okay? So at the end of the day, you want to come up here, if you want to repay, once you click on that borrow icon, it brings you to this interface. If you want to repay, you come in here to the repay option, okay? After you finish trading, you come in here to repay. If you want to manually repay your loans, you click on max. Now, right now, I've not borrowed any money, so I don't have anything to repay. You just click on max and then you go ahead and repay your the borrowed money that you have borrowed. So as I said earlier, one of the good things with this margin trading is that you are making you know higher profit as against trading with spot. And then you have a chance to trade higher with higher capital as against the initial money you have. You don't need to have ten thousand dollars to be able to trade um crypto or ten thousand dollars. If okay, so if I'm trading with isolated, it means that if I deposit $1,000 into this platform. I can buy a token worth $10,000. And with that, with a little move in the market, I can sell that and make a lot of profit as against the profit I would have made with just my $1,000 trading, okay? So that is how you go about trading spot. And the basic thing is just like, um, sorry, that is how you go about trading uh, margin, okay? With borrowed money and you can make profit and keep 100% of the profit after you've paid your borrowed money and interest. Now, another thing is the trading aspect of it is very simple, just like you do your buying 
and you're selling, okay? You can use limit orders, you can use market orders to do the buying and the selling. So if, for instance, I wanted to buy BNB, let's say I want to buy BNB at uh, 390, okay? So I'll go ahead, I'm, I'm doing this with a limit order, right? So I'm doing it with a limit order, so I can specify my own price. If I don't want to do with a limit order, I can click on this arrow here to select market order or stop limit or this other option you see here, but I'll go with the limit order. I want to buy at 390, and I'll go ahead and use the maximum I have here. That means at 390, I'm going to get 1.2 um, BNB, okay? So if I click on this buy BNB, it will place that it to create a, a pending order for me, meaning that it will be waiting for BNB to return to this price. Once it return to this price, automatically that order will be triggered, okay? But if I buy with market order, if I come in and buy with market order, I'm going to buy at the current price of 480. Okay, once I buy with market order, I can come in here to the sell tab. Once I come to the sell tab, I'll go and sell it with a limit order. So here I will say, I want to sell when BNB gets to 420, uh, 424 or thereabout. And then we are going to sell whatever we buy here. Let's say we bought 1.2 BNB, okay? So it's saying sufficient balance because I have not bought the BNB yet. I'm just telling you what you should expect. So in this case, if it sells at 424, our $500 would have made us $504, okay? Because of the borrowed $508, whatever the amount return. If I come back here and say, okay, we want to sell at $500, so whatever it is, it means that uh, from 500, we are making 600, okay? At the end of the day, we repay the loan and then we keep 100% of the money to the, of the profit that we've made to our server after we've paid the loan and the interest, okay? That is how you carry out margin trading with borrowed money. I hope you understand to this level. And then the last thing I want to show you um, is that with the margin trading itself, you are qualified for what Binance called, um, um, they actually call that four day Friday, okay? As a margin trader, you qualify for this. And what is fun day Friday? Fun day Friday means that as a margin trader, every Friday, Binance tells you, thank God is what is Friday. And they are sharing 20% of all of the proceeds that they make from their margin trading, okay? Margin trading fee, they are sharing 20% with all margin traders um, on every Friday, meaning that every Friday you stand a chance to actually benefit from all of this. And how does this work? If you scroll down here, you will see that you trade um, margin. So what it explained there, the first one here says that trade on borrow, trade or borrow on Binance margin during the week, okay? And then you claim your bonus uh, available weekly or every Friday by this specified time here. Okay, and then you repeat that same process again, and every Friday you are claiming bonus. So what is this Fun Friday all about? If I click on expand details there, you see all of the rules here. So the trading, the event began um, sometime on January 24th, okay? You can see here, this is when it started. Um, it started on January 14th, okay? This promo or this Fun Day Friday for Margin Trader started on 14th of January 2022. There is no end date yet, okay? This is, the, this is currently running, meaning that if you start participating now, you can start making profit every Friday um, from this, okay? You are making profit in both ways. The one you are making from Binance and then the one Binance is sharing with you on the fun day Friday program, okay? So to be eligible, it means that um, you, you should have the Binance margin account you might have completed your KYC verification, okay? And then if your daily average margin trading volume is about 1,000 BUSD, okay? So let's say you traded like two times, three times, or four times a day, even if it is once, and then the funds you are trading with is up to, um, can be equated to 1,000 BUSD, you qualify to gain um, this Binance Fund Day uh, profit, okay? And then the rules are what you see here. I'm going to post the link, okay? I'm going to post the link so that you'll be able to, you know, follow up the link. I'm publishing this video on YouTube and I will probably post the link in the description so that you'll be able to read out these rules and then see how you can participate in this and start benefiting from the Binance Fund Day program. 
So basically, that is all I have for you um, about Binance margin trading. Okay, so I just told you what margin trading is all about, what Binance margin trading is all about. Binance margin trading, once again, is you trading with borrowed money. So for instance, if I have $1,000 and I'm trading with isolated, it means that I can borrow up to 10 times that amount of money that I have. So with $1,000, I can trade um, any asset worth $10,000. But um, if I'm trading with isolated, I'm limited to just one pair of token. But if I'm trading with cross, I can borrow up to three times that money, but I have access, um, have the liberty to spread my borrowed money into different assets. Meaning that I can buy at that USDT, I can buy at that, I can buy BNB, I can buy BTC, all of these multiple tokens at the same time. But with isolated, you are trading only one. Okay. So the good thing with Binance margin trading is that you have, you know, you can with little amount of money, you can make a higher profit in the market. And all of these you can do it with your phone. Do fundamental analysis are very necessary. Okay. You can do it with your phone, I agree, but you need to know the direction where the coin is moving. And right now that the coin is actually, every coin in the market is dropping, it is time to buy. And when it pulls up again, you just sell and take profit, okay? So basically that is all I have for you. In today's meeting, I will now post your questions. You can use the chat section or kindly unmute yourself and ask your questions. Hello, good evening. Thank you for, Sorry, can you hear me? Yeah, go ahead. I'm hearing you. Yes, thank you for your time. Um, you kept saying the importance. Okay, I have two questions. Firstly, what is I didn't okay. How will you differentiate futures from margin? Like, yes, I know they are different, but I think um in futures is like when you use the next kind of your leverage is multiplying your money. Well, okay, my point is I don't really get the difference. Like I understand what two of them are doing individually. But I don't still get like the difference in your font. Then secondly, the you keep saying like we've gotten the importance of the margin, but what is like what are the merits? Because like now you know in futures you can still lose your money and everything. What are the disadvantages for margin? Thank you. All right. Um, one of the disadvantages um, is that whenever your price is dropping, okay. When it drops, for instance, I think I have a margin trading that is currently running here. Okay, if you can see my screen, I have an open order here, right? Um, and on this order, let me check. There is a liquidation, there is a position. Okay, yeah, look at it. Um, you equally have liquidation um, prices, okay? Um, you, you can equally be liquidated when you're trading margin. So the disadvantage is that if the market drops below what you bought it, right here, um, with this token that I've bought, I've borrowed about this, 952 USDT, that's what I borrowed. Means that for my account to be liquidated, it has to get down to Bitcoin because it's BTC, USDT that I'm trading, okay? Um, the market needs to get down to about, uh, that is $35,000, right? That is when I'll be liquidated, okay? Once it gets to that, I'll be liquidated, right? So that is one of the this merit or the disadvantages of using this. Uh, it means that when you are doing this, you need to constantly monitor your trade. That is why I said you need to do some research. You don't just go blindly and buy blindly. If not, you will be liquidated, okay? So you have to pay attention to you know, the liquidation price. And then the next thing you ask the difference between features, right? Features and the margin trading. So in the case of margin, you are buying, you still have the assets you bought, okay? So you can hold it as long as you want before actually selling it. Whenever it goes in profit, you sell the asset, then you pay back the, the margin, the borrowed money with the fee and you keep back the profit. That is just the difference, the major difference here. But with, uh, with features, whenever you trade features, if it goes against you, you are losing your money completely. You don't have any asset to hold. You say, okay, I will still hold it. When the price pass up, I'll pay back, right? I don't know if that you understand what I, I just explained now. Right? Yes, I do, thank you. Okay, okay. 
Sorry, I have sorry, I have another question. Sorry, if I'm not disturbing. Um okay, so I want to get something. If you have let's say hundred dollars and then you um you want to borrow from margin, maybe with isolated and that's ten hex. So that means you will be using one thousand one thousand dollars, sorry. So when you are going to return back the money you borrowed, would that does that mean that you'll be returning like nine hundred dollars? Because that means you borrowed nine hundred dollars, right? Yes. Yes, you borrowed nine hundred dollars, and then you'll be returning nine hundred dollars. With the interest, time. right? With the, with the interest, yes. Mark, there are interest that are attached to. I will probably leave a link to the finance um, interest rate page where you can go ahead and see that okay, there are interest that you pay on why you use I think that interest is on a daily basis. So I will probably leave a link to to the page. So you pay the interest plus the borrowed money and whatever is left for you, it becomes your, your own game. Okay, and the interest is based on how long you are staying in, the, like how long it takes you to return the money, right? Exactly. Okay, thank you very much.